coming up on Bobcat News. We'll have all the information you need about the last volleyball game before playoffs start. And Natalie and Gianna will bring us another important life lesson. Your Bobcat News starts now. Morning Bobcats. Today is Monday, November 18, 2019. I'm Jules Goldberg. And I'm Hallie Ballantown. Now please welcome our special guest, Mr. Schreffler. Good morning, Bobcats. Mr. Schreffler here, your technology coach and also in charge of student tech support. A couple of reminders as we're coming up to our break next week. Just a couple of things to remind that have always been the case, but you need to, I've noticed some issues with recently. First and foremost, you should never, 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 never be walking around campus with a laptop in your hands. Laptops always need to be in your backpacks when you are traveling around campus. Started to see a lot more of it in the courtyards, and I want to make sure that that doesn't happen, because if you drop it, you are going to be charged a fine for damaging your laptop, and we don't want to have to do that. So make sure always goes directly in your backpack. Also, just a reminder, you cannot put stickers on the outside of your or inside of your laptops. You should not be putting any kind of stickers directly onto your laptops. We've had a couple students coming in during uh, with issues with their laptops, and we need to swap them out and give them one that works, but they waste five, ten minutes trying to rip stickers off of it and get those cleaned off so that they're not charged a fine. We don't want to see that. Last thing is, as you're going into the break next week, I would highly encourage everybody to restart their computer on campus on Friday before you leave. So if your last day is going to be Thursday for some reason, make sure on Thursday you restart that computer on campus. And on if you're going to be here Friday, make sure you do it then. That'll make sure that it works all week for you without any issues. So that's all I have for you today, guys. But remember, always put your laptop in your backpack, no stickers, and restart your computer on campus on Friday. And have a great Bobcat day. Thanks for joining us. Attention 8th graders, this is the last month that student dedication pages can be bought for the yearbook. This is your special moment. Head to yearbookordercenter.com and enter the school code 17913 and click create a yearbook ad. Hurry, time is running out. Please consider donating a new or gently used book from now until December 6th to Miss Bolden in, a room, in room 602 or the Media Center for Reading Reindeer. Let's help others find joy through reading a book. As the holiday season approaches, please consider helping others. Donate to the Bridgewater Food Drive by Wednesday, December the 18th. The first period class that donates the most food will win an ice cream party. Do you want to design this year's Grad Book Grad Venture T-shirt? The Grad Venture T-shirt design contest is open to all grade levels. Designs are due on Wednesday the 12th, the 20th. Only eighth grade students will vote for the winning shirt. There are many mysteries in life, ones that aren't always easily solved. It's a good thing that we have Natalie and Gianna to bring us some good, important life lessons. Welcome to the second episode of Life Lessons with Natalie and Gianna. Today we will be discussing the issue of talking to strangers. I'm sure you all have heard the phrase, stranger danger, but what does this actually mean? Life. What a mysterious thing. Life is just filled with riddles that we don't know the answer to. Don't you wish you knew more about it? Don't worry. We have experts who are here to help. This is Life Lessons with Natalie and Gianna. People have concluded that strangers are dangerous and you should only trust close relatives, family, and friends. Wait, friends? But how do you make friends if you're not supposed to talk to strangers in the first place? Where, where are you going? have the answer. Take a look at this. So friends, what are friends? Well, friends are people that you know, people that you can trust. And friends typically are nice. They're nice to each other. And to make friends, you got to be nice to other people. You got to talk to other people, specifically people that you don't know. So these people would classify as strangers. So that means friends are strange. If friends are strange because they originally used to be people that you don't know, well, what about strangers? Ers? 
RS, seven, the seven R's of sustainability. The seven R's of sustainability include rethink, refuse, reduce, reuse, repurpose, repair, and recycle, all of which are essential to human life. So if you don't like to follow these concepts, then you don't care about human life. So you are strange. What about strangers? Well, are they actually strange? If everyone is a stranger because you don't know everybody, then everyone is strange. So if everyone is strange, is strange even strange anymore? If everyone is strange, then no one is strange. There are only especially strange strangers. So should you talk to strangers? Well, feel free to talk to strangers. Just don't talk to especially strange strangers. What? Morning, Bobcats. It's Owen here with your Bobcat forecast. Looks like a tremendous start to the week as we will have mostly sunny skies with a high of 71 degrees. Now let's take a look at your five-day weather forecast. Perfect weather ahead. Sun and temperatures in the low 70s. What more could you ask for? Now it's time for Sports with Alexa. What's up, Bobcats? It's Alexa with sports. Tonight will be the last game of the season when Bobcats take on Chain of Lakes here at home. Be sure to come out and support your Bobcats as they close out the regular season. Now it's time to throw it back to our main anchors, Jules and Hallie. Thank you, Alexa. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Bobcat News, News and make it a great day. day. Follow Bobcat News on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube to find out everything that happens off the air with Bobcat News. Bobcat News is a presentation of Bridgewater Productions at Bridgewater Middle School in Winter Garden, Florida.